This is freaking crazy. There is some kind of invasion here, like I've seen before. But not at this location. What's up, everybody? Kinetic here. Welcome back to Rift. I am sort of partying up here with, with random people as we uh, as we defend this uh, this little foresty stronghold from the invaders. This is the third video in a part of sponsored videos. Third part in a, in a series of sponsored videos, actually, is what I meant to say. <laughs> Where I uh, I take a look and I give my impressions on what rift is like is it over already i get uh, the you who must mean yes <laughs> dang i was kind of hoping it would last longer that's what she said <laughs> anyway um well poop now i gotta find something else to entertain me i uh i was actually on my way over to the the city over here of alitu i guess is is how we'll uh go about pronouncing that did I get anything? Yeah, I got some planer right out of it. Uh, because I wanted to see if I could... Whoa! Party's not over yet! Okay. Uh, yep, I am not going to even try and take on all of those. Let's see if we can't get them divided up a little bit. Something like that. Oh, boy. And, of course, I had to pull them all. Wait, 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 wait. I think we're good. I think we're good. We got them divided up. Yeah, all right, cool. I'm uh, I'm so glad that there's there's more of them. Honestly, like dynamic events are what Rift is all about, right? Has been since the the very beginning and will be what still keeps this game alive, I think. And really is one of the the most entertaining forms of activities in any MMO RPG for that matter. I really like any kind of just random, dynamic, whatever events that uh, that can possibly happen. It just makes for fun, spontaneous entertainment. Like when, like when suddenly, uh, you know, a base under is under attack or NPC needs uh, to be escorted somewhere maybe or, or something like that. It's always good fun. Is that it? I think that might actually be it now this time. Um... When they first started coming through here in this little town, I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, why is this giant army uh, coming through here like this that could just, like, just completely wreck, you know, anybody that's maybe standing around not paying attention or going through selling crap in their, their inventory, which is actually what I was doing also at this little pit stop. But uh, then it, ma it quickly made sense. I realized, ah, okay, this is like an... In Invasion event. Okay. Because otherwise it'd be really awkward for them to just have these giant monsters coming strolling through uh, these friendly towns, right? But um, I am... I'm getting there. I, I, I must be taking my sweet time with, uh, <laughs> with this, right? As slow as I have been leveling. I'm still only 65. And a lot of that has to do with, well, I'm just kind of... I'm exploring more of what what just naturally seems to unfold in front of me rather than focusing on on progression like I seem to get really distracted by for example look at those over there that's a uh, that would be a life rift yeah a minor life rift I get easily distracted by by things like that and even though it, it it's not probably the best bang for my buck in terms of like experience you know, per minute or whatever, to experience per hour to to get ahead in this this game. It's it's still entertaining, and there are times when I'm finding myself just randomly, you know, maybe dueling. Oh, look at look at this! I might just be like randomly dueling with uh with somebody against something like that, you know, and uh, and it's cool. Like there's there's no communication, but you just know that you've got each other's backs. You know what I'm saying? And this is the the kind of army that just went through that town we took on like this exact same scenario uh but i'm not doing this alone hell no <laughs> i will go this way uh because i want to get to the town anyway since i i've been playing a a lot of the uh, the assault adventure which i showed you guys kind of my initial impressions of in the previous video 
I, I gained so much currency, like, on, on the next day, I, I did it for hours, and the, the thing that kind of was disappointing about the, um, about the, the Assault, uh, adventure was that it's only two flavors of elements to, uh, to, to experience. You've got, like, a, a life kind of nature-y style, uh, one of those Assault, pl uh, Planar Assault adventures, and then you've got the Fire one, which you guys definitely saw. In fact, I think you saw a bit of both of them, actually. And they just seemed to, like, rotate back and forth like that. There there wasn't, there wasn't like, an ice one or, I don't know, like, an air or earth or, or, or something like that. Maybe that's that's still planned for, uh, or, you know, maybe they'll add more of those later. Or maybe that's just what they have intended for now. What the hell is that? I want one. That is awesome. Are you kidding me? They have it like a dead chicken mount. Get out of my way, fat ass. You're in my way. I'm trying to see the badass chicken, dead chicken thing mount. Oh, I see. It's like a Halloween kind of uh, kind of mount. That is freaking sweet. You know what? I am making that the thumbnail of this video. <laughs> Congratulations. I should maybe say it to that person. Congratulations. I'm going to make you the, the thumbnail of my next video. They'll be like, what? <laughs> There's actually been some really good comments and uh, and questions related to Rift and, and what do I think of it in terms of like certain aspects or maybe they're just general questions for possibly anyone to answer. I tried to get to as many of them as I can and, and try to give the answer that I, I could possibly give. Like for example, uh, one of the tougher questions to answer is can Rift be enjoyed or can you play through Rift? without actually spending any money like will you still get the the full experience and to that I, I have to say yes and no if we take a really quick look at the the cash shop and when it comes to like sort of free to play pay to win you know like perspective the way that that I see it is of course it's ideal if they can have a system like for example path of exile that is based entirely on making money from selling cosmetics but i understand when companies can't do that they have you know other uh investors that want them to do something else to try and uh generate cash to keep you know keep the game flowing and, and stuff like that so when they go beyond that like i totally get it but yeah that would be the most ideal way to do it now for the most part just really quick, the cash shop offers like a lot of services. For example, the uh, the patron pass, which is uh, kind of a staple of, uh, of of Tryon's games, Arc Age Rift, is they all have this optional kind of subscription that you can sign up for, which will give you a lot of freaking benefits. So yes, you can play it for free, but you'll get a hell of a lot smoother of an experience by going and signing up for a, a 30 day patron and you can buy these patrons also with in-game currency you can trade with other players to uh, to buy these tokens or, or whatever that would get you the the patron status without actually spending any real money just in-game money right so there's uh there's there's a nice little wiggle room there they've got character boosts they've got expand uh not expansion but uh, what am I looking for? I think experience boosters or something like that. All of this stuff it not isn't to me pay to win. It's just pay to accelerate, right? Same thing with drinks, bags, mounts, pets. All of this is either cosmetic or you know just convenience or, or something like that. Uh, it does get kind of shady around the like the equipment section, even though from what I hear, uh, people are saying that well, you know that the gear is like made irrelevant. Anyways, as soon as you reach, you know, some higher tier or, or whatever. In other words, the stuff that you're seeing there isn't top tier gear. It's just kind of like, it's a boost. Like if your gear completely sucks and you're, you know, desperate to maybe uh, to Hello. get with your, your, your buddies to do dungeons or, you know, whatever kind of tier of rating or something like that, that's an option there. Oh, I must select a reward. Okay. Uh, I didn't even realize I, I did this. Collect marks of notoriety by completing zone events. Okay, wow. I've gotten quite a few. Grants notoriety with the... The what? The blah, blah, blah. The Alitu. Uh, these must be reputations. Okay, I, I, I don't... I don't think I'm ready to to get involved. I don't know what each of those, those offer. So I'm going to leave it at that. But what is this? Adventure gear? 
Your coin is, Your coin always, is always welcome. Ooh, have an upgrade arrow here. What's this? Ah, he's selling level 70 gear, which I am nowhere near. Uh, warrior, cleric, rogue, primalist. Collecting this unlocks the wardrobe appearance. Comet forged cuirass. Can I, can I preview it? Yes, I can. It's hideous. <laughs> actually, it's not so bad, but kind of actually kind of reminds me of almost like a like a monster hunter kind of set. Let's see what the helmet looks like. Oh wow, that just looks all kinds of awkward. <laughs> it's 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 a really strange mix of like leather and metal. Not my style, but um, always, always a pleasure a indeed. Uh, maybe what else is there here? Oh, that was it. Okay. Um. I may have to go to a different city entirely if I'm looking for certain ways to spend the um, the currency that I've been picking up. There's another question. Uh, people, oh, really good question. Is Rift a good game for new players to the MMORPG genre? That one's even harder to answer because I feel like, sure, you can probably get into Rift, and like? if you are... A hardcore-ish gamer, then you'll really find like a nice deep system here to sink your teeth into, with their uh, with their soul system, right? The as we saw in the first video, the soul tree is is really good. But to like a a, a whole new gamer that has never been exposed to something like this, this might be overwhelming. So I would say yes. As long as you have like maybe a mentor, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody else in the game that knows what's going on and hopefully won't like dump truck you know, all this information onto you and expect you to absorb it in a short amount of time. A lot of more casual players simply can't do that. But I think if you get into it and you just kind of take your time with it, Until next the game will, will, will get you used to, I think, the, uh, the systems as you go. Your coin is Always what welcome. is this? Requires planar defense, force revered. Aha! So here's a uh, here's a reputation that I would need to level in order to get access to this stuff. I think I saw a similar NPC that was selling some other items like this. Friendly. What is this? It's a dimension item. And do I have the currency for this? I do. Actually, I've got more than enough to to get those uh requires revered okay so there's a lot of uh there's a lot of dimension items here Come back again. from this person and then we've got all right uh, this is a uh, defeat a lord in a planar fragment in a planar fragment you know what i'll take it good luck i'll take the Take the uh, the quest, even though I'm not exactly clear <laughs> on how or not how, but but where I would encounter such a uh, such an adversary. And over here, a whole lot of nothing. Okay. Well, I think I. You know what? I I, I honestly want to just jump back into uh, doing another adventure, like another instant adventure. That, that's. I know. That's like some of the most fun that I'm I'm having. Uh, okay, yeah, right. We're back to this weird leather metal stuff. Let's do that. I tried jumping into what was it? Um, right. I tried doing the this instant adventure here, but there was like hardly anybody in it at the time. My my hours for like trying to play with people back in like the U.S. or or even in EU are really bad. Um, I want to try it though. Let's let's jump into the Intrepid Adventures and let's see what happens. We shall relight these halls until there are no shadows left in which the darkness may yeah. lurk. Yeah, it looks like we've got a pretty decent party. Looking at the uh, the size of it this time. Uh, now I'm actually questioning whether I actually did try this or whether it was the first option at the top that I tried to to do halls of knowledge actually let me switch pets because this is a tank pet i probably could use my instant thingy or my bob whatever it's fine they can wait kill deep struck umbrals 11 of 22 okay 
This is actually really freaking cool looking. I think I actually like this this setting better than the um, the uh, the assault uh, planar assaults. What are these? These are sixty five. Okay, cool. So these are these these are these are good for me to to try and take on. Wow, they're getting slaughtered. This looks really familiar too. I I. I think I've been here before, like a long time ago, maybe, when I was last into Rift. So who's leading this party? And what are these things that we're killing? These people all look freaking cool. What is that? It's got a freaking rock golem. Chick, you are hot. Literally, you are hot. Look at that. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Good stuff. So what's on the bodies? Ectoplasm. This thing, like, instant respawn. What the hell? Should we just stay here? <laughs> then? Not all knowledge Wait, is what? evil. There Your is adventure to be force us to wait? Okay. Tomes. We should reclaim what we can. Uh, one of 52 of 52. Okay. I think I understand what's going on here it's definitely been a while but we're kind of doing the same thing as the, the planar adventures planar assault adventures I'm gonna kill x number before we move on to like the next wave or something like that look at this guy in chat w you can tell he's uh he's playing so hardcore and shouting at the same time <laughs> Oh, look at that. Easy mode. What's that? I'm gonna follow Hot Chick. I think she found a, uh... I think she found a manga book. What's inside? Is it Eshi? Let me see. <laughs> what is... What is this? It looks freaking cool. Whoa! I thought that might be what that is. Wait, am I even in the same area now? I am. And I can't mount. Damn it. Wait a minute, but I should be able to... Right, because there's no... <laughs> there's uh, there's no fall damage. Thank God for that. Come on, use the freaking... There we go. Try to use my combo attack, but it didn't, didn't activate. Uh, we're already at like 40-something now of, uh, of the things that we're trying to kill. 44, 46... Yep, we're basically just slaughtering things until we hit the, the max count, and I think we're about to do that right now. <laughs> Soon, my babies. Soon. Be patient, my darling. The burning time is that a pregnant wraith? Like, what is that? It like has a really big stomach. So hungry. Matron Zamira. She is flicking the platform with poisonous gas. Really? Whoa. Okay, we're cool. I keep forgetting to do my damn pet buffs. That's not the rotation, man. Come on, get the rotation right. Whoa! Uh oh. Okay, we're not cool. Kill it or what? Did it say kill it or meet your end? Damn it, now I'm all the way down here. Fail, Kinetic. Fail. I right, got your number now, Biatch. Going down. Oh, that looks bad. There we go. Why do you struggle that was so, so sloppy. Heroes of Talara. The only prize that awaits you is madness. Oh, this is cool. They keep changing, like, the setting, and it, it's just getting, like, darker and more wicked looking as we go. Hopefully the, uh, the enemies are gonna pick up some, like, a little bit more intimidating than this. Because right now it just feels like we're face rolling. <laughs> and 
And I'm just like pulling at will, because why not? This is the kind of thing that would normally get you, get you kicked out of a raid. Like if it was a serious raid, but this is clearly not a, a serious raid. 8 of 22. This is like some alien shit right here. Like the movie Alien, I mean. It's pretty awesome. Heal flesh knit abominations were at 10 of. Oops. We're at 10 of something. Whoops. Watch where you're going, kinetic freaking noob. Wow, that is. What is that? Is that where we're going? I think we might be going that way. Oh, I see. We got to take kind of like a roundabout path. What is that? Is that a minion or something? That is freaking wicked. I want one. Get out my face. 19, I think I said of 22. Come on, where's the boss? I want to fight a boss. Where's the boss at? Like, like, give me, give me like that queen alien kind of boss. You just have her like puking, freaking, like, aliens out of her mouth, right into our face, face huggers to the face. All right, target there. We go. Man, okay. Ugh. Now what? All right, both of you have one of those. I'm freaking jealous. I really want one. Dang, <laughs> he didn't even stand a chance. Uh, yeah, I think we might just be needing to clear a couple more for our wave. It looks like we're spreading back out to try and find something. Here we go, like this. stuff is this where the oh that's what i thought i keep seeing like more and more people running from uh this direction i found the barrels let's grab one i want to i want a trophy for participating too <laughs> and drop it like it's hot drop drop it like it's hot Oh! What? Okay, now we really gotta do clean up duty. Gotta get rid of this stuff. I have a feeling we're getting closer and closer to some kind of boss coming up here. I'll pick on the little stuff first. Kill, kill the super easy moms. Where are you going? Whoops, I didn't mean to press that. Okay, looks like... Oh wow, that thing's dead already? That must not have been a very big challenge. But yeah, we're still clearing out just basically the area from the new alien thingies that have spawned at 15, 16 of 22. There's another one. 18. It's going fast. I like it. One and if we can capture these lost souls, it will be fewer to feed the evil within these halls. Hmm. Okay, now we gotta collect the uh, the souls. Let's do that. Wow, it's it's very fast paced. Like one one kind of mini event into another. Click this. I'm assuming capture. Got it. Cool. There's another one I can capture very easily. Nearby. Oh, they got that one. Okay, cool. 
Um, are there more of them spawning, or are we gonna have to like hunt them, hunt them all individually down? Some of them may be kind of re, not respawning, but new ones spawning in in the same place is what I mean. Like this one, yeah. I have a feeling that's uh coming back. Yeah, look, there's one right there. Okay. Uh, well, if he grabs that one, then I'm guessing there will be one over here. We're at 19 of 26. Come on. I know you want to spawn here. I know you want to spawn here. You totally want to spawn here. No? <laughs> okay. Watch, as soon as I walk away, that something's going to spawn. Happens every time. <laughs> uh... Okay. 24. Yeah, we're almost done with this. And I don't know what homeboy is doing up here. Quest accepted. That means quest complete on the collection portion of this. Now what? Kill Sikaron in the mausoleum. Okay. Uh, oh, I see him. That's got to be him. Aw, oh, save some for me. Come on, he's already at 75%. <laughs> Get him. That is one big dude. And ugly as hell. Dude, you have a... You, you, you have an awful, awful looking face. Like, there's something I want to call it, but... It, I'm trying to keep it PG-13. <laughs> and... There's the money shot. Oh my god! If the denizens of these you freaking... Don't what do you spray? You, your own madness will. What do you freaking spray on me? He just... He just melted me with whatever came out. Well, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> and here I was thinking, God, this is all way too easy. Uh, step through the portal? Yep. Hammer, Nell Fortress. Halls of Shaping. Wow, this just keeps on going. But you know what? I mean, I, I could obviously continue recording and showing you guys more of this. But I think you kind of get the idea. I really like that this does though kind of just keep going and i mean just like the the planar assaults if you if you want you can basically quit out at uh, any time get get what you want out of it and uh and then gtfo i got nightmare hemel narrow adventure cash let's take it and i want to open what do we get we got mark of notoriety renown abyssal crusaders marks okay Use to purchase goods, right? Uh, void stone seems pretty cool. Oh, I open up a bunch of those chests from the um, what was it? The planar assault stuff, and I got like a couple of pets or something like that. It was pretty awesome. A couple of minions. In fact, where are those freaking minions? They're around here somewhere. Um, I keep forgetting to to. Ah, uh, here we go. Minions. There we go. Yeah, I got a. Uh, Select an adventure. <laughs> I got a Stofi. And I got Select an adventure. Ion Rake or something like that. Like this is just a whole nother thing here in uh, in Rift. But that is gonna wrap it up for this third of the sponsored video series that I am doing for Rift. I hope that you guys have been enjoying these videos and I hope that it's been helpful and informative, kind of giving you a taste and maybe sparking some interest if you have any to, you know, maybe try a, uh, a different MMO. Rift has been around for a while now. They just came out with this new expansion, the Starfall Prophecies, and I'm getting my ass beat. All right, it's time to go. <laughs> That's it for now, guys. Uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below click the like button to support these videos here on the channel and you can bet that i'll have more 
guides, reviews, impressions, and stuff like that of more ARPGs, MMORPGs that are floating around, sometimes old, sometimes new. You can also, you know, uh, request maybe that I, I try out some game that you haven't seen me try before or something like that, or to revisit a game or something like that. Either way, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Thanks again for watching. This is Kinetic, and I'll see you next time.